Living With Ghosts, the second part of Crank It. Um, it's a very sinister sounding uh, little guitar piece. Very simple. Um, and I'm going... So the picking always keeps that rhythm going. It's always, it never changes. It just is a circular rhythm, keeping that. It's kind of like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm just changing the root notes. Well, the root notes is the same. So the melody is being played on the D string. So I'm just going E, F sharp, G, B, B flat, and then A, G. heavy part and then and here this is half speed interesting because what I did is my son was listening to like EDM music and I was like oh it's actually really good you know there's like some really cool riffs in there and they'll just vamp off like one riff and I was like I wonder what it would be like if I got like a you know I wrote a riff that's really you know just hypnotizing and but like if I was a DJ but I was playing everything so that's how I came up with that um, So how I came up with that riff, it's it's just more of like an EDM thing. My son was listening to it, and I thought it was just so cool, and I just thought, oh, I'm going to come up with something like that. And then what I did, I was like, well, I, I'm... You know, I don't like having any vocals or anything on the on it, but I need a like some kind of a hook. So what I did is I took my Mac, my laptop, and I put in translate. So I put in the word crank it, and it would it would it speaks it back to you. And she went crank it, and I was like, oh, you know, I kind of like that. And and so I was like. <laughs> You know, and I would hit it, and it would say crank it, and then I was like, and then I'll, I will typed in crank it, motherfucker, and then it worked great, you know, and it just spoke it back to me. So what you're hearing on that is the Mac just doing translate. So then, after that, I was like, you know, after this... <laughs> Crank it, crank it, and then. Yeah, I kind of wanted it to be the same tempo, but like halftime and really sinister sounding. Because the other part is like kind of jumpy and fun and all that stuff. And it just, it's just one of those things that worked out really well. And I was so nervous about it because it was so different from everything I was doing. But. You know, it's one of the, the favorites when we play it live, so I'm super happy about it. One of the most important things to me is uh, inspiration. And when I find it, I love it. You know, Daft Punk, I listen to... Oh, I love Daft Punk. But the thing that really got me 
was Fat Boy Slim. I was like, oh my God, this is like brilliant. This is brilliant. And I was like, what if it was like a heavy Fat Boy Slim, but with like guitar solos? And that's kind of like what I did, you know? And I have another song coming out later in the year called I Want It All. And it's, it's like just that kind of same kind of vibe. It's really neat. It's like, a, I'll talk about it now. I haven't talked about it, but we're shooting a video. It's kind of like, like, you know, Instagram, as you know what that is. So we'll have like a five a gram and it's just like, that's what the whole video is going to be is people swiping and I'll be playing the song and people swiping up and trying to like, you know, smooth themselves out and stuff like that. And, you know, it's a really cool, cool video that's going to come up. So, uh, and like, I'll be in the restaurant, you know, walking by, but nobody notices me cause they're just watching, you know, stuff like that. So it's, it's going to be a fun video. <laughs> Another one I use a talk box on, and it's. So it's that kind of thing. I guess. It's so important. The rhythm is so important. You know, it's so important. Any great, any great song has just so much great rhythm. Like, um, God, just name anything. Like that. I, I, I love rhythm, and I try to focus on it as much as possible. Well, there's so many other things we do this song called um, Howdy and it's like a lot of cool stuff like that there's a lot of um you know i love doing that bluegrass thing I mean, the western swing on, on those records too so it changes it up you know and i'm doing another behind the nut kind of song 